What's up guys, it's the 5 Sigma Kevin 569, uh, then we got AC-130, and uh, this commentary is going to be more about like life and and school and, and whatnot, so uh, as far as life, um, I just got out of my class, I have a Middle East Imperialism class, it's, uh, upper division, I'm a, a college student, you guys didn't already know, but in my fifth year, I'm about to graduate after this year, and um, I'm taking a uh, Middle Eastern Imperialism class, and uh, we're today we're um, we we have a research. Uh, let me take a step back. We have a research paper for our final, and the topic that I'm gonna write about is gonna be the first Gulf War, and the U.S. relationship with with Iraq and Iraq's invasion of Kuwait, and so on and so forth. So that's gonna be my topic for the day, or for my research paper. I haven't even done that much research. I went to the library today to look for some books, and I ended up finding two or three bo three books. And I'm going to do some more research tomorrow and try to get more information and whatnot. And the end, I'm pretty confident that I'll, I'll finish the paper because I have um, a lot of time coming up. Uh, because my teacher, one of my teachers canceled class and, and whatnot. And, yeah, so it's, it's all good and gravy. But one of the students was actually presenting today, and this topic is on the war in Iraq right now and more specifically the veterans that come back and how they live life and personify themselves and and like how, what they go through and and stuff like that and this student he actually is a war vet as well or I, I wouldn't even call him a war vet because he's still active he's actually gonna get deployed back I believe next year and um, yeah that's gonna be his last deployment he was mentioning in class but uh, he, he was just kind of mentioning his life story and he talked about how at one point when he was doing his research one of the, the people that he researched the author had wrote his experience while he was in combat and his experience was that this 17 year old Iraqi boy shot an RPG straight at him luckily it didn't kill him but the strap metal severely injured him and in, in turn his unit ended up killing the 17 year old kid and it just kind of like he just thought for a moment of what what the situation was happening and how United States have portrayed this false war and these lies so that we can go and invade Iraq for no reason. Um, the original reason was weapons of mass destruction, but as you can see, it's just all false and lies and whatnot. So now we're here in this country taking over this land, over these people, and you assume that they're just going to kiss your ass and bow down and give you a a quick BJ but in reality like they're gonna fight back I know that if somebody were to come into the United States or my homeland or my hometown my house I'm gonna fight I'm not gonna just stand there and just oh yeah go ahead come in walk in you can do whatever you want no I'm gonna fight back I'm gonna if it's a war I'm gonna shoot back and whatnot so I mean I kind of understand that and he was just kind of going into this and he was talking about his story and how um, one of his medic from his unit like I, he was 19 years old and after combat like after he did all his thing he'll go back and start playing video games which is cool because it's kind of related to what I'm doing now and talking over a video game but it was just kind of like a ra reality check and and just realizing that uh, we, we have it very well made here in the United States and we should take every opportunity that we have whether it be through school and or job and or like the friends that we have the people that we meet and just that the peaceful that goes the peace that goes on in the United States I mean you have the opportunity to go upward and become successful at any given time of age or whatever but um, if you guys want me to talk about this more often and get like another deep story or whatever um, just let me know uh, leave some comments behind uh, give me a like hopefully I can get some more likes um, I've been improving a little bit as far as uh, subscribers i'm in like 40 something but um i hope you guys like it this is let me got ac 130 five sigma kappa 569 um take care and just just think about your life and think about how you can improve it and how much how easier you have it compared to a lot of people especially veterans that are at war right now all right take care